Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at no solution, one solution, and infinite solution algebra problems. So what this means is that when you solve the problem, you can either have no solution or no number that's going to make both sides of the equation true, only one solution that will make it equal on both sides, or infinite solutions, which means you can put in any number and it will make it equal on both sides. So we're going to go through some examples here. And then hopefully with these examples, you can use them to work on the worksheet in class. So what I would recommend is maybe watch a couple and then at certain points I'll tell you to pause so you can try it yourself. So first one, we have 2x plus 3 equals 2x plus 7. So just like we learned with the variables on both sides, we want to get the x's on one side and the constants or the numbers on the other. So for this one, I'm going to work with the numbers. Remember, you can do this multiple different ways, but we'll see what happens when I do that. So I want to get rid of the positive 3 over here, so I'll subtract 3. Whatever I do on one side, I also have to do on the other, which leaves me with 3's cancel. 2x is equal to 2x plus 4. So even at this point here, we can see something's going on. On the left side, we have a 2x. On the right side, we have a 2x plus 4. Well, if we think about it, 2x is exactly the same as 2x. So those would be equal to each other. If I add a 4 to one of those 2x's, I'm going to get a different solution on the right than I have on the left, which I can't have that because they're supposed to be equal, as we can tell by the equal sign. So just for the sake of it, I'm going to continue the problem, but at this point you could justify that this one would be a no solution, because no matter what number I put in there, it's not going to be equal on both sides. But we'll continue just to see how it comes out in the end if I keep going. So I want to get the x's on the same side. So I would subtract 2x from this side because it's positive. Whatever you do on one side, have to do on the other. 2x minus 2x gives me 0. 2x minus 2x gives me 0. And then 0 plus 4 will just be 4. So will 0 ever be equal to 4? The answer to that question is no. So at this point, we know that there is no possible solution that will make this equal on both sides. You can write out no, no solution or do a zero with a line through it, which also lets us know that it's no solution. Okay, the next one. Looks like we got a lot of stuff going on for this one, but that's okay. We'll take it one step at a time. Whenever we see these parentheses here, we know that we have to do... You're correct, the distributive property. So first thing I'm doing is drawing my arrows and then I know that I am multiplying. So 2 times x is 2x, bring down the plus sign. 2 times 4 is 8. I can bring down the rest of the problem for now. And now you can see I have a variables on both sides equation. So for this one, I'm going to work with this 2x just because I know I'm going to have to subtract 2x and when I subtract the 2x from the 3x, it will leave me with just 1x. So in most cases, I want to try to stay with positive numbers. So minus 2x, minus 2x, which leaves me with 2x is cancel, 8 is equal to 3x minus 2x is 1x, or just x, plus 11. Now I want to get the x by itself, so the opposite of a positive 11 is a negative 11. When I do this, 8 minus 11 is negative 3, 11 is cancel, and it leaves me with x is equal to negative 3. So our solution that we had was x is equal to negative 3. It's always good to double check your answer. So we'll rewrite it, but instead of an x, we'll put in a negative 3, and let's make sure that it will be equal on both sides. So let's see, negative 3 plus 4 will give me a positive 1, and 2 times 1 
is equal to 2. Let's check on the right side now. 3 times a negative 3 is a negative 9 plus 11. Negative 9 plus 11 is also a positive 2. So we are good to go. And we know that x is equal to negative 3 is our correct solution. So this next one, ooh, this is a fun one. If you look at it, notice that we have the same thing on both sides. 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3. So right away, since I know it's equal on both sides, this one would be a clear indication that it would be infinite solutions. No matter what number I put in there, I know they're going to be equal on both sides. If I want to make sure, I could work the problem. Subtract 3 from both sides, which leaves me with 2x is equal to 2x. I could divide both sides by 2, which leaves me with x is equal to x. So no matter what number I put in there, they're always going to be equal. 0 is equal to 0. Negative 1 is equal to negative 1. A million is equal to a million. No matter what number, it will be correct. So I know that this one is going to be infinite solutions. So some of them you can kind of look at and just tell right away exactly what they're going to be. So let's practice this one here. I challenge you, pause the video and try to solve it now on your own. Then we'll go over it together. Okay, here we go. So first thing we have is parentheses, which lets me know that I have to use my distributive property. 3 times x is 3x. Bring down the minus sign. 3 times 1 is 3. Bring down the rest of the problem. Now I want to see, because I could do four different things, but I want to do things that keep it positive and help me find my solution. So I'm going to work with the variables, and I notice on this right side, I have a positive 2x. So if I subtract 2x from both sides, 3x minus 2x leaves me with 1x. So that might be the easiest way to go. Subtract 2x, subtract 2x, which leaves me with 1x, or just x, minus 3, is equal to 9. I'm going to erase that 1, just because I know it's equivalent. x and 1x are the same. And I want to get the x by itself, so I'm going to do the opposite of a negative 3, which is a positive 3, which leaves me with 3's cancel, x is equal to 12 as our solution for this problem. So this one will be a 1 solution, where 12 is the only answer we can put in there that will work and give us the correct solution. So it's always important to verify. We said x was equal to 12. Let's check it and make sure it works. So 3 times 12 minus 1 is equal to 2 times 12 plus 9. Let's make sure 12 minus 1 is 11. 3 times 11 gives me 33. On the right side, 2 times 12 is 24. And 24 plus 9 is equal to 33 as well. So we know that we are good to go. And we do have one solution, which in this case is 12. You do not have to write one solution. All you have to do is write the variable and its solution. So hopefully this was a good start. I would challenge you now to work on your practice problems. There is a key supplied for you on Google Classroom to check your answers. But I would say take your time, show your work, perform your checks, and try your best. This is some, that, some stuff that just takes practice. But also take a second and look at some problems before you do all the work because you might be able to know right away whether or not it's going to be no solutions or infinite solutions.